Good morning. My name is Dr. Carissa Wickens. I'm an equine science faculty member in the Department of Animal Sciences at the University of Florida. I also serve as one of the state equine extension specialists for Florida. And this morning, we are at our Equine Sciences Center in Ocala. This is our primary research and broodmare facility for our equine sciences program at University of Florida. And this morning, what we're going to do is take a little bit of a tour and talk about weaning methods. So the process of separating foals from the mare or from their mothers. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how to minimize stress through that process. All right, so here we just have some of our mares and foals. They're up in their feeding slips. Our horses are fed um, their concentrate part of their diet, the grain portion of their diet, morning and afternoon. So they do come up twice a day into these feed slips. This allows for individual feeding, and especially for our young horses, that's really important in order to meet their individual nutrient requirements, make sure that they're getting um, the feed that they need, the ration that they need to um, support growth and development. And what we have going on here, these are babies that are between five and six months of age. They have been recently weaned. They were actually weaned on Tuesday. A um, couple things I wanna point out. Weaning in general for um, breeding operations, even for the horse owner that has, has bred a mare and has a single foal, weaning is a natural process that would happen out in nature. We tend to have to speed that process up a little bit in our management schemes, um, partly for the health of the mare, but also for the foal in terms of starting to be able to handle these foals more and start their early training. Um, so weaning is very important, um, you know, a very normal part of any farm management system. But there's some different ways that you can go about the weaning process that actually help reduce the stress, not only to the foal, but also to the mare. And so our method of weaning here at the University of Florida utilizes, um, it, it's sort of what we call an abrupt weaning because we take the foal away from the mare rather abruptly, but how we do that and how we manage that actually helps minimize stress in that we have multiple foals and mares that are put in the same pasture together. And what we do is we slowly start taking out individual mares. So that foal will be separated from its mom, but it is in here with a group of peers. So it's in here with other babies that they've had a chance to be with a little bit and get to know. And they're also left with a few adult mares. So this group is mostly weaned at this point. We have more babies without mares and then just a few adult mares here. Um, but you guys can see even a little bit how they're interacting with one another. And again, this really helps to minimize some of that stress of that separation. Some of the stress signs we see with weaning, um, the babies will initially vocalize. So you'll hear a lot of whinnying and calling for their mom. You'll also see a little bit more locomotion. Oftentimes these horses will walk fence lines or trot around a little bit more looking for mom. But after a day or two, that pretty much subsides. You can actually listen right now, and we've got babies that are very quiet, um, seemingly pretty relaxed. So again, that's still considered an abrupt weaning method because we rapidly take mom away, but because they're in here with peers and other adult mares, it really helps minimize that stress. And there's some good research evidence that shows that that really is the case. Um, we see lower heart rate and lower stress hormone in the form of cortisol in those weaned babies when they are with an adult in the, the pasture with them. So that can be really helpful. Even just having them at pasture, that also reduces stress, but it also minimizes some of the abnormal behaviors that some of the babies might start um, doing during that stressful weaning process by being with a group of other babies and being out on pasture where they can graze and forage for most of the day, as opposed to being in box stalls when they're weaned. Um, so getting them out on paddocks or pasture situations during weaning is also really helpful. So another strategy for minimizing stress at weaning is actually exactly what you see here. So we are weaning these babies in a pasture management situation. So having young foals, um, as they're being separated from their dam, from the mare, if they're out on pasture or paddocks with a group of other weanlings, that definitely helps them. Um, there's been some really cool studies looking at stall housed weanlings compared to pasture or paddock kept weanlings in groups of horses. And again, we see reduced stress and we also see a reduction in what we call aberrant or undesirable behaviors like kicking the stall, wood chewing, um, some of the things we really don't wanna see horses doing too much of. So having them out in a group on pasture really helps minimize that because they have 
you know, they can locomotor behavior, they, they can go out and move, they can forage, they can have grass out there to, to eat most of the day. So that's another really great strategy for helping during this weaning process. So some general considerations for weaning, especially when to wean. Um, most of the times in production settings, um, equine facility um, operations, we're gonna wean probably between five and six months of age. Six months of age is pretty much considered ideal. Um, but there are occasions where maybe some earlier or later weaning is more appropriate. For example, you know, considering the, the health of the foal is very important in making that decision to wean. If we already have a foal that is low in body condition or not adjusting to um, creep feed or where we give them a little bit of grain before they're weaned to get them used to, to different feed ingredients, if they're not transitioning well to that, we might delay that weaning process a little bit more until that foal is in good body condition and otherwise healthy before we go ahead and separate them from their, their mare. Um, that just helps again reduce stress and keeps them more healthy. But also the condition of the mare is important. Um, you know, when they're lactating, they're producing milk and trying to feed this foal. As that foal grows, um, you know, that's not going to meet all that foal's nutrient requirements. We might have a mare that starts dropping body condition and if she's losing weight and condition, we might want to try to go ahead and transition that baby off of that mare a little bit earlier for the mare's health. So those are some general considerations and some strategies that we can use to minimize stress at weaning. Um, there are some other methods. Um, for example, a more gradual weaning process is where we just separate mom and baby for more extended periods of time. So over a few days, we'll start to separate them. Um, the other thing you can do is what we call fence line weaning. So we take the foal away from the mare, but they still can see and hear each other in an adjacent paddock over the fence line. Um, that takes away the nursing aspect, so they're not getting milk from the mare, but they can still be in some contact with the mare. So in some cases, that's also a strategy that works well um, for some management systems. Um, but those are all things that you can kind of consider and maybe use as strategies. Again, the goal is to try to make this process as easy for the mare and foal as possible. So you'll also notice in our pastures here, we have really, really big space for all the babies um, and the two mares that are left in here with this group of foals. That's really important from a safety perspective when we're weaning horses. Um, we want fences like this board fence. The top board gives the, the young foals a really good visual, a good sight line. So it creates a nice psychological barrier if they are trying to get to mom during this weaning process and they're running around a little bit more in this field, they're not gonna run into the fence. Um, we wanna make sure we don't have sharp objects or obstacles out here that they have to navigate during this weaning process. So having a nice big area, um, that way, you know, if they are playing, they're, they're socially interacting, they've got room to do that, but they also have room to get out of each other's way if there's some of the, the group that's not getting along as well. So nice big open space, lots of forage, um, no sharp corners, no sharp objects, making sure that they have a safe place during this weaning process is really important. So thank you very much. <laughs>